Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use the edge panels smart select to capture a partial screenshot on the Samsung Galaxy S23 series. First, tap on the home button to go back to the home screen. From the home screen, swipe down at the top and then tap on the settings icon. In the settings page, we scroll down and tap on display. Next, scroll down and tap on edge panels. Now in here, go down and tap on panels. Make sure you select smart select. So swipe across and find smart select. Then tap on the radio box to select it. After that, you can tap on the home button to go back to the home screen. Now, whenever you want to capture a partial screenshot, you can swipe in on the edge of the screen to open up the edge panel. Now in here, swipe across until you locate the smart select panel. In here, you can use a rectangle shape oval. You can create an animation or pin or insert. So here I'm going to say select using the oval shape. So in here, you can drag on one of the corner to change the shape of your uh, selection. And once you have select the part uh, where you want to capture and then tap on done, this will now capture part of the screen. And here you can use the text search. You can uh, share it. You can say download and save to your device. You can write onto your text into your image right here. So you can write into your uh, screenshot, you can change the pen type, you can change the color, and you can change the thickness of the pen. So a lot of the things that you can do. And once you have select, once you have to change the pen settings, you can then draw onto your uh, screenshot image. After that, you can share or you can download the image. I'm going to tap on the back key and discard the changes. Now you can also tap on the pin or insert at the top here. This will allow you to pin the screenshot uh, on your screen. And after that, you can also uh, open up uh, another app and then you can compare or you can uh, use it to place it on top of another image. So that's up to you, depending on your creativity, what you want to do with it. Uh, if you want, you can tap on it to download the image. You can minimize it or you can expand it. You can also tap on the close button to delete the image without saving it to the gallery. All right, so here if I swipe out, I can choose a rectangle shape. And here you can use one of the handles to readjust the selection area and then tap on done. Now again, it's the same, it's just different shapes. You can uh, pin or insert. So you can uh, drag that to insert into, the, into another app. So here, let's say if I open up my Notes app, and if I want to insert it into the Notes app, all I have to do is touch and hold onto the image, and then just drag it down here, and this will allow me to insert into the Notes app. And that's it. So a really cool feature. Uh, you need to add it to the edge panels to use it. And here we have another one is animation. So there is a button here that allows you to tap on it and record. You can record in high quality or standard quality. Uh, tapping on the record button once you are ready. So we record up to 15 seconds. Once it is recorded, you cannot do anything. So let's say if you are playing a video, you can use Smart Select to record that video. And once you're finished, you can press on the stop button and this will allow you to create a GIF uh, image or an animated image. So here uh, you can pin or insert it or you can download it into your gallery. So if I open up my gallery, for example, and I play this uh, video here. So let me uh, open up my gallery and play a video. So this is the video right here. So I'm going to move it back and then I'll go animate and I will, sorry, so I'll open it. I will adjust my uh, selection window and I will start to record now. So this will record this animation. 
So I'm allowed to record up to 15 seconds after I can press on the stop button. Then I can pin or insert into my note or I can insert into another app or I can simply just download it. So GIF is now saved and you can see if I go into my gallery. Now this is the GIF that I have just created using the Smart Select uh, widget. And that's it. Finally, you can tap on the home button to go back to the home screen. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.